interview uh, a year ago uh, with a guy who his name is Alan and uh, he got amazing results uh, regarding Herio. But on this call, we are going to talk about uh, something else. And on this call, we are going to talk about uh, Finastrid and DHT blocking and potential side effects and how to deal with side effects. And uh, what I didn't mention last time is that Alan has a medical background. Uh, so he uh, knows a few things about this subject uh, that I think uh, will be very interesting to share with you guys. So, um, okay, Alan, uh, could you present yourself, Alan, a bit? Hello, Alex. So uh, I am uh, a writer, a scientific, a scientific writer, and uh, <clears throat> I work uh, in a laboratory. Uh, this is my job. And uh, I have some experience uh, about uh, air loss. Uh, even if my results are not so uh, spectacular uh, than yours. <laughs> but uh, I began the treatment uh, very uh, late, and at, at 50, 50 years old. And uh, so I can share my experience about uh, finasteride and uh, in particular side effects of finasteride. Right. Okay. So I have a few questions here that I want to ask you. And, uh, okay. Yeah. And the first question I have here is that uh, why do guys get side effects from taking DHT blocker like finasteride? Uh, in fact, finasteride is uh, derivated from progesterone. And uh, like progesterone, it has uh, anti dihydrotestosterone effects. So uh, DHT is a major hormone with a mental uh, effect and uh, as well as for a good uh, libido. So uh, testosterone uh, versus DH DHT uh, ratio is very important. And uh, one should never take finasteride uh, without checking this hormone rate in the blood. So uh, in that case, you, you can have uh, uh, some side effects like, like uh, genital atrophy. And uh, 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 you can avoid this side effect uh, by uh, checking and adjusting your hormone levels. So uh, there is uh, also a big misunderstanding about uh, testosterone and uh, hair loss. Right. In fact, uh, testosterone don't uh, cause hair loss. On the contrary, uh, your hair are thicker if you have good uh, uh, rates of testosterone. Uh, furthermore, testosterone increases uh, human growth hormone and uh, in particular IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, and uh, it has a positive effect on your hair. So uh, the problem, you have to check your levels of uh, testosterone and uh, dihydrotestosterone. testosterone. And uh, uh, actually, finasteride is not uh, advised after 40 years. Right. Uh, the reason is because testosterone rates uh, begin to decrease after 40. And uh, a struggle increase uh, with age. So taking finasteride can amplify aromatase uh, in, in the fat tissue and increase uh, more and more estradiol. And, and estradiol, as you know, <clears throat> may cause uh, gynecomasty and other problems like uh, prostate hypertrophy. So uh, <clears throat> there is a big is issue uh, observed by many practitioners today is that uh, an increased number of young men uh, maybe 20 or 30 years old, which, uh, which have uh, uh, low levels of testosterone, <coughs> testosterone and DHEA. So if uh, these young uh, men uh, take finasteride we, without adjusting their hormonal status, uh, they have a high risk to, uh, to meet uh, side effect. So uh, be careful with finasteride, uh, at least after 40, but even, uh, even if you are young, uh, always uh, checking your uh, hormone levels. Right, right. A bit more about it. Uh... In fact, uh, this is um, a study, uh, a, an observation study. Uh, so, it, and you can see uh, three groups uh, from a different period of time and um, it seems uh, to show that uh, testosterone uh, total uh, levels are uh, decreased 
uh, currently uh, <clears throat> in the recent years. Right, right. And so uh, there are a lot of uh, different reasons, like uh, perturbator disruptives. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So basically, the point is that uh, total testosterone is getting lower for uh, yes. uh, man. Good, uh, good level of testosterone are uh, uh, between uh, eight, uh, between eight and ten nanograms uh, by milliliters. Right. Uh, so you, you can see in the curve that um, uh, even uh, at the age of uh, uh, fifty, mm -hmm. about fifty. Uh, some uh, people have only uh, uh, four or five nanograms. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite a lot of degrees uh, from... Uh, yes. yes. Uh, yes. It is a, a worldwide phenomenon. <clears throat> if one will have a side effects from phenolstrine. So, um, the first thing to do is to stop the treatment. If you have side effects. And... Uh, <clears throat> and uh, checking uh, your hormonal uh, status and uh, you, you can uh, uh, also take uh, some micronutrients like uh, vitamin D, uh, zinc, uh, in fact vitamin D is a steroid hormone, it is not a vitamin uh, as we uh, thought uh, before, uh, it is making from cholesterol, uh, cholesterol is a, ma a major um, uh, product uh, in, the in the cellule uh, it plays a major role of steroid production. Uh, all of our uh, steroid hormones are made from uh, cholesterol. So uh, it is not uh, a good idea to uh, always uh, um, decrease uh, your cholesterol rate with uh, statin or other drugs. Right. So uh, to check your vitamin D and uh, adjust uh, between 40 and uh, uh, 80 nanograms uh, per milliliter and uh, everybody should take, in fact, uh, between uh, uh, 5,000 and uh, 10,000 uh, international units uh, right. per day. Right. Uh, at, at least if you live in, uh, in Europe, uh, like you, uh, but uh, we, we find uh, even in, uh, in tropical, uh, like here in Tahiti, um, I meet uh, sometimes in laboratory, um, uh, especially with all the old patients, uh, some uh, rates very low in vitamin D. Right. right. And uh, it's uh, not good for all the hormones. It's, uh, it's uh, deleterious for your uh, immune system. Uh, it has been observed that uh, uh, a lot of uh, patients uh, um, from COVID-19 uh, COVID had uh, low levels of uh, vitamin D. Okay, so so it is important yeah. important to take it. Very important, not only for uh, osteoporosis, huh? especially after 40, if you can avoid uh, alcohol, coffee, and delicatessen, uh, because uh, they increase estradiol uh, by activating uh, aromatase enzyme in fat tissue. So keeping a slim fit is also a good idea because uh, it helps to increase testosterone and uh, decrease aromatization uh, in fat tissue. Right, right. Uh, could you tell a bit more about the uh, paleto diet? Uh... Yes, paleolithic diet is, on a, is only a, a way to, to eat uh, uh, natural uh, food uh, with no, trans no transformation. So um, all of the food you can find in, uh, in the nature, uh, vegetable, um, uh, meat, uh, fish, uh, fruits, etc. Right. But uh, nothing uh, uh, industri industrial. Yes. Side effects from phenosterine and uh, stop taking it and start with supplements, all, all things. How long time it will take to, to get back uh, uh, DHT back to normal again? When uh, there is a perturbation of uh, the hypothalamic uh, axis, uh, things can make uh, uh, weeks or months uh, to restore. But uh, the delay can be dramatically uh, uh, shortened by following a good paleolithic diet, as I told you before, mm -hmm. with some su su supplements like uh, maca, tribulus, terrestris, zinc, uh, some plants like uh, diamana leaves, 
very used in uh, in South America, Diamana. Uh, some uh, amino acids like citrulline, arginine, ornithine, glutamine, HMB, uh, which uh, is a derivative of uh, leucine, and uh, to practice exercise. Uh, well, finasteride can be replaced also by a natural product, uh, so, palm, uh, so, so palmetto, you, you know it, I think. Mm. Uh, but I, no, I, I have no feedback uh, for my part. I never try it. So uh, I, can, uh, I, I can tell you uh, if it works uh, for hair loss or not. But uh, according to some physicians, uh, so palmetto may have uh, more side effects than finasteride. Uh, will have uh, more and more side effects uh, because uh, hypog hypogonadism is uh, more frequent uh, and rising uh, now, even uh, in young men. And unfortunately, uh, it is uh, uh, often not treated. And uh, I have uh, one more question about uh, sleep. Uh, do you have any suggestions how to get better sleep? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, quality of, sl of sleep is also very depending of uh, your hormonal status. Supplement with melatonin increase the transformation of uh, T4 uh, on T3 in, uh, for the thyroid uh, uh, gland. So it is very important to have a good level of melatonin. Melatonin is a powerful antioxidant. <clears throat> Right. So, uh, if uh, if uh, one have a, a bad uh, uh, sleep, uh, it, it is very important to uh, to fix the problem uh, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what I want to more add the uh, book coming out. Right? I just uh, talk about uh, a bit about air loss. Uh, on my book, uh, there is no um, a translation in English. Okay. Right. Uh, so this book is a bestseller in France. Uh, this is the, the translation. So I, I talk about an, an air loss and uh, in particular your protocol, uh, Alex, mm, okay. uh, yeah. because you, you had uh, uh, spectacular results. <laughs> okay, awesome. But it's also in your book, you also have a lot of uh, regarding uh, different supplements, uh, diet tips, because I did read your book. So I, I know that it is quite solid book. So stuff you have. Uh, put in that book, so. Yes, it is a short uh, uh, synthesis of uh, anti-aging uh, lifestyle. And uh, I prepare a new book with uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Stéphane Résimont, which will be uh, more complete. And uh, you will have uh, a lot of uh, chapters on uh, Alzheimer and a uh, lot of pathology, fibromyalgia, uh, uh, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when can we expect uh, that book, uh, Alan? Yes, I hope uh, before the end of the year. Uh, 